so here's how it's all setting up for us. We do have humid air returning from the Gulf of Mexico and this clockwise flow. This is the high pressure. It's located in the northeast in the mid Atlantic mid south region. But right now we're keeping our eyes at the, it's this low because we have this dry line that's separating the two air masses and that front that is coming along with it. Now tonight we are going to have the strong, strong low level winds and then we also have the rising air, which is exactly what we need to see those thunderstorms really pop off. So tonight storms are going to break out north of the warm front. So you can see where that's currently located portions of northeastern Oklahoma as well as much of the state of Arkansas, Mississippi, Tennessee on into the mid south. We go to see that that threat continue. That threat is going to be a level two out of five for this evening. This past week we saw really immense severe weather. Now it's not going to be as bad as that. However, these are some of the same hard hit locations from the past few days. So Arkansas heads up for tonight. Jonesboro, Little Rock all the way over to Fort Smith and Tulsa and even up to Springfield. Memphis as well. You need to make sure that you have multiple ways to receive those alerts because tonight it's going to be stormy and it, it's going to catch some folks off guard because as you can tell throughout the day, it's really not going to be that bad. We will see a few scattered showers starting to pop up right around dinner time, but then that line really surges down to the south and to the east as we head into the overnight hours. So midnight, it is stormy for folks across Tennessee, Memphis, Jackson on into Kentucky, but we're not seeing the worst of it until early in the morning hours for folks like like little that live in Little Rock, Fort Smith, as well as even Tulsa. As we see that line really develop. This is 6 a.m. A soggy and stormy start to our Saturday, and this is just going to continue on into Sunday as well. So what are our threats? What are we tracking? Well, certainly it's going to be a large hail and damaging wind threat, but we cannot let rule out the chance to see an isolated tornado. That hatched area, the potential for two inch in diameter size hail or larger is the possibility for northeastern Oklahoma and northwest Arkansas and central Arkansas. But that damaging wind threat, that's going to be shifted further to the east. So that's going to really hug that Missouri Arkansas state line from the Ozarks all the way down right along the mid Mississippi River Valley through Memphis. So we're watching this zone very carefully, but it's not just tonight on into early tomorrow, Steve. It's actually the next few days we have to watch. Yeah, can look continues through Easter weekend. And so if you are making plans and if you are traveling, you need to be mindful of where this severe storm starts to set up. And you'll notice this is on Saturday. This is the low end risk. One out of five possibilities of seeing some of those thunderstorms really from the I-35 corridor in Austin and Waco. I-20 from Shreveport to Jackson, Mississippi, Auburn, Birmingham, and the I-10. I mentioned all of those interstates because maybe you are traveling for Easter weekend. Be prepared for for those storms rumbling through and we're going to pick up right where Kendall left off and she had talked about on Saturday. This really starts to enhance, but notice the movement of this storm system this week. It's been west to east. Now we're starting to see that north to south movement impacting Little Rock and then you're going down towards Texarkana. It does start to dissolve as we move through on Saturday. That's why we have a low end risk possibilities, but these areas have been hit over and over again, not just this week, but for the past four weeks. So even just just a rogue shower like we're witnessing right here moving outside of uh, just Shreveport, Tyler, Texas, that area you can get that rainfall and that could lead to some flash flooding concerns just because the ground is already saturated from the repetitive blows that they've seen so far. Looking at the large hail threat, that's going to be minimal because these storms start to fall apart, but we'll see a resurgence on Sunday, which is Easter Sunday. So many people have outdoor plans, Easter egg hunts, and you need to be mindful of that if you're looking at those Gulf Coast states from Hattiesburg to Jackson, Alexandria, up towards Shreveport and Monroe, and we'll watch what happens on Sunday. Monday. And so uh, by 8 a.m., very strong storms moving through central and northern Mississippi into Alabama. And then you'll see a resurgence build behind that front and strong thunderstorms come in late on Easter Sunday. And so whatever day, whatever time frame you have to be outside on Sunday, you need to be keeping an eye to the sky as these storms rumble through. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.